my relationship with History Alive is that the group that I'm with, Army Group South, is a member group of the organisation uh, that runs History Alive, which is the Queensland Living History Federation. I'm with the um, Army Group South and we have people that are doing impressions um, from World War One right through to World War II, uh, Allied and Axis, predominantly um, German and uh, this is my very first event so I'm a complete novice. Um, History Alive has been uh going on since about 2000. Uh, my, I myself, I've been here every year uh, in various guises, be it uh, 19th century Queensland or with Army Group South or generally pottering, a bit, pottering around with many of the other groups uh, and eras that people will find. I've, um, I've had a keen interest in a World War II history for many, many years and recently found out that my granddad served in New Guinea and his battalion has was disbanded in 1946 so it's my um, goal to set up a um, 2nd 7th Australian Infantry Battalion uh, unit somewhere in the future. OK, well, we're... Um we're the Emu Gully Field Volunteers. This is actually the first year we've attended History Alive. Um, myself, I've been involved with reenacting for um, 12 years, um, attended multiple History Alives. Um, we formed a new group up towards Toowoomba, just at Heladon. Um, so we've got a new recruits, first time at HA. It's a brilliant weekend, uh, well worth attending. 15th Battalion was a, a combination Queensland-Tasmanian unit formed in 1914. They landed on the afternoon of the 25th of April at Gallipoli, so we were part of the first ANZAC. Um, served right through the Gallipoli campaign. After Gallipoli, they were with the rest of the uh, Australian troops, were taken back to Egypt, uh, reformed, um, and then went on to the Western Front. Um, we became the fourth. We were part of the fourth brigade, which became the part of the fourth division. Uh, fourth division fought all through um, France and Belgium during the war. Was involved. Were involved in a number of major offences. Were involved at uh, the Battle of Hamel, which was the greatest victory for the Australians at that point in 1918. Also, being part of the fourth brigade, the fourth brigade had the highest casualty rates of any of the Australian brigades in the First World War. I represent the 9th Battalion, which was the 3rd Brigade of the 1st Australian Infantry Division. Uh, the 9th Brigade was the first was a Queensland Battalion uh, formed around uh, this area, White Bay and Burnett, and actually led the attack on Gallipoli. We landed at Gallipoli, we were the first troops to land on Gallipoli. Uh, the 9th Battalion uh, also played a leading role in the Battle of uh, Poziers the following year. In, in one of the early, um, that were one of the early attacks on um, in France. These events are, you know, awesome. You, you come and meet a uh, wide variety of people. You know, you get to see different eras, and also, you know, especially representing the um, AIF, the Australian Imperial Force, you know, the ANZACs, it's sort of a bit of self pride, and also being a, a defence force cadet, sort of, you know, get the run around the old stuff, just sort of, you know, makes you feel good. I um, enjoy it from, I guess, from the educational point of view, helping to educate the public about our history. Um, people know about Gallipoli in the First World War, um, but we're getting coming up now to the centenary. Um, Gallipoli was only a small part of what the Australians did in World War I. They actually made their fame in the Western Front, um, and that's what we're attempting to reenact is actually the unit based around 1917, 1918, when the, when the AIF was the, was the premier fighting unit in, uh, in Europe.